Hi, thanks for watching Tech Talk. I'm Sergio with Arvig. Today we're going to be looking at searching for things on the web, but I know what you're thinking. Oh, just Google that, right? No, today we're going to be looking at Google alternatives. Um, there's lots of search engines out there, way more than we're going to discuss today, and some of them are actually widely used. Even though Google is definitely the number one, there's alternatives out there that can be very good at specific things or even broad general searches, and you never know what results you might find. If you're used to only using Google, there's a whole world of searches out there, pages that you might never find because Google, for whatever reason, has decided, oh, this one's not important. Um, but these other search engines might decide that, hey, they are. So let's take a look at some of them now. The first website we have up is called Dogpile. Um, Dogpile has actually been for, around for quite a while. The difference it has, I mean, if you look at it, you might say, well, that, I mean, that's very similar to Google. It's got a search bar, and you can search images and video. Um, a lot of the ones we're going to be looking at are, are like that. But the kind of thing that makes Dogpile unique is that it combines searches of many search engines. So it combines Google. Um, Bing and uh, Yahoo and even some others and then decides what the best results are and then organizes them in that, in that, in that way. Um, so it's kind of like the power of multiple search engines. Now that can be good for some things, um, you know, it gives you new results that you might have not seen before, but because it's got so many results all combined, sometimes you might see repeat results or things that aren't quite as relevant as you might think. What I want to do with each search engine we're using today is do a quick search um, and we'll do the same search on all of them and see what the results are. Uh, a very popular search on the internet is cat, of course. So let's search for the word cat and hit go fetch and see what the first result is. In this case, the first open result was cat.com. That's from an ad. Uh, the first result that isn't an advertisement is from finance.yahoo.com. So let's remember that for next time. Next is Bing. Bing is Microsoft's search engine, relatively new in the search engine game. Um, they, they've you know, only been around for a few years compared to Google, who's been around since almost the advent of the web. Um, what makes them unique is they, they like to put up this big picture every day. It's a new picture. They also like to have a, a very popular community. So Bing isn't just used on Bing.com. It's also used on MSN.com, if you're used to that. It's used on almost all Microsoft devices, like a Microsoft phone or a Microsoft tablet. It's also used on Yahoo.com, which is the next website we're going to look at. Let's search for the word cat and hit Enter. And in this case, it showed us some pictures of cat, and then Yahoo, finance.yahoo.com was the first result, the second result being cat on Wikipedia. Now, we don't have to do a test search on Yahoo because we'll get the same results as Bing.com because Yahoo uses Bing for their search results. But what makes Yahoo different is they have a very, um, I don't want to say cluttered, but a much more full home page. Um, it's not like Google where it's just Google and then a little bar. They have news, they have trending topics, they have links to other things, a lot of advertisements, and some people really like that, and of course links to Yahoo Mail. Um, I know my mother, for example, loves Yahoo Search and, and search engines like this because she wants a home page that's not just search, but is a lot of other stuff. Next is Ask.com. It was formerly known as Ask Jeeves. Um, the kind of quirk to them was you're, you're supposed to be able to ask them questions. So what is a cat in this, in this case. Now, we could just search for cat, and it would work just fine, too. But the point is you would ask Jeeves questions, ask.com, and then they get you answers. So in this case, it, it brought up a result. Oh, a cat is from the kingdom Animalia, phylum chordata. Sorry if I screwed those up. Um, but it gives you results like that. And of course, on the right-hand sidebar, they have popular questions and answers. So what is a cat? A cat is a small domestic feline. Another cool thing about Ask is if you search for um, celebrities or musicians, uh, so if we go for Lady Gaga, she's the big thing right now, right? Hopefully. Um, on the right-hand side, they'll show you, you know, music that you could buy from her or other important information about Lady Gaga, something that Google doesn't do. Last is Wolfram Alpha. Now, uh, not exactly a search engine. They call themselves a computational engine. They're uh, sort of like a Wikipedia. They're a database of knowledge. But you just search for a topic or a question that you want to know more about, and they answer it. So let's try our question again like we did for Jeeves. What is a cat? And see what happens. Now it's kind of calculating the answer for us now. And it, all it comes up with, our input is domestic animal cat. And they tell us exactly what a cat is. It's a felis catus, house cat, uh, the kingdom of phylis, a lot like ask.com but much more information. If we scroll down, you'll see all these things like, oh, they have the number of taste buds an average cat has, 
470. Who knew? Who cared, right? All this other stuff. Um, if you're used to using Siri on your iPhone, Siri uses Wolfram Alpha to answer lots of questions like when you see in the commercial, how big is the moon? And Siri tells you, oh, the moon's however thousands of miles big. It's Wolfram Alpha actually giving you that answer. Siri's just using the information from the engine. This one's a very popular one. If you've never used it, I suggest playing on it. It can be a lot of fun. So those are just a couple of uh, the search engines out there that are alternatives to Google. Um, if all you've ever done is search for websites on Google, I highly recommend giving a couple of these others a chance. You never know what you might prefer. You might actually prefer Bing or Yahoo over Google, but you're so used to Google.com that that's the only one you've used. Um, I'm a Google lover myself, but it's interesting to see uh, if, if you've seen the commercials by Microsoft when they first started coming out with Bing, they did blind search results, kind of like the Pepsi challenge, challenge of Google versus Bing. You couldn't tell which was which, and people were picking which results they preferred, and a lot of people were picking Bing without even knowing that one was Bing and one was Google. So just kind of an interesting uh, tidbit of knowledge there. Hey, if you have more questions for Arvig or have comments for us, why don't you let us know? Give us a call at 888 99 Arvig, or stop into any of our Arvig stores, or visit us online at Arvig.com or our Facebook page. Just search for Arvig.